John Leake said, uh, between power and authority, choose, or faith. He said, between faith and, and power, choose faith because faith directs power. Well, faith is simply walking in authority. That's what it is. Listen, faith is never wondering. Okay? People have the idea of, well, I'm standing in faith, I'm standing in faith, waiting for God to do it, I'm standing here, and, and it's as if you're, you're still, you don't, it's as if the answer hadn't come. And you have to realize a person in faith, the answer has always already come. It's already there, and it's just a, a simple matter of you speaking now for God. See, that this is, I've been, for this whole year, every seminar basically done so far, really, has been a Dominion Life seminar. That's what was requested, and that's where God has been moving us into. Even this last one, which was the mind renewal out in uh, Georgia, it really was a Dominion Life mind renewal. Um, because, or I'm sorry, new man. We were doing new man out there. Uh, that's, it was hard for me to remember that because we didn't do much of the new man aspect. It's because we're doing so much of the Dominion. But Dominion is the new man. See, when you became a new creation... You were put into position of dominion. This is what the church has got to get a hold of. You, you can't picture yourself and see yourself as some beggar type trying to get help, especially if you claim to be a Christian. You've got to understand you are the help you're looking for. Why? Because God is with you, He's in you. You are different. Your spirit is different. Your spirit is not some weak, sniveling little thing. You were recreated in the likeness and image of Jesus Christ. You were created in his image. You were put in a position as a son. You're in a position of dominion. You're in a position of authority. And when you understand authority, you understand faith. And when you understand authority, you will step out in authority. And when you step out into authority, you're walking in faith. If you're not walking in authority, you're not walking in faith. So authority knows the answer. Now, here's the thing. Power always comes after authority. You don't give authority. You don't give power to a person who is too young or immature to handle it. Does that make sense? But now the minute you were born again, you were recreated in your spirit. And because of that, you are automatically recreated. Even one scripture even says that technically you are already spiritually mature. Boy, tell me that doesn't open up some stuff. Okay, let me just say it this way. Your growth is not in the spirit. Your growth is in your soul. Spiritual growth is not growth of the spirit. Spiritual growth is when your soul starts to line up with your spirit. That's also called mind renewal. And the more your soul lines up, the more spiritually mature you are. In your spirit, you're as mature as you're ever going to be. There needs to be no change in your spirit. Your spirit was recreated complete and mature in him. But your soul has to grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. So this idea that we're, well, I'm here and I'm trying to grow up. No, no, that's your head talking. Your spirit says, I'm here. See, there's a whole difference. Because your spirit says, I'm here, and I am who Christ said I am, and I, as he is, so am I. And then you start acting like him and talking like him. And the more you act and talk like him, the, more, the stronger you get, the more mature you get, and the more things start happening, and then you start helping dictate situations rather than being dictated to by the situation. Now, that doesn't mean storms ain't going to come, but it means when the storm comes, you're not going to be hiding and running to Jesus. Now, get this. You're not going to run to Jesus. Don't you care? We perish. See, I hear Christians pray that kind of stuff all the time. Half the time, they're telling me about it. You know, Why doesn't God care? Why doesn't God do something? No, 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 no. See, you're not the 12 disciples in the front of the boat. You're the Jesus in the back of the boat that gets up and says, peace, be still. You get that? 
You're not the ones crying, oh, I'm going to die. Why don't you do something? No, you're the one speaking to the situation. That's when you line, when you start to line up. See, that's spiritual maturity when you act like Jesus. If you're going to walk in faith, you're going to walk in authority. You don't walk in authority, you're not walking in faith. I don't care how much you talk. I don't care what you, any, any of that other stuff. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you take your position in authority, your realm of influence, and you start dictating what goes on in your realm of influence for the kingdom of God and make where you are look like the kingdom. But most people don't want to do that. Most of them want to come to me and get me to do that for them in their life realm. And I, I, can, I can teach you. I can show you how to walk in it. But you're still going to have to go back home and establish your own perimeter. Amen?